In this video, I intend to show a bit about understanding and using the Canvas setting called Student View. So I'm bringing up Mozilla Firefox. Let's see our homepage. I'll log into Canvas. Alright, so I'm at the user dashboard and I will select a course. In fact, I'll select a live course that's running right now this fall. And the first thing that I want to do is take you to settings. Under settings, I would like for you to notice that there is a button called student view. And so if you select student view, you might think that it is more or less the same as what it was in my CR Sakai. Well, to some extent that's true, but there are some differences that may be worthwhile. So let me just mention that once you are basically established in this so-called student view, you will see the site the way that a student of yours in that class would see the site. However, there uh, are some really interesting aspects of the student view. For example, the student view is really a, an account that's in Canvas unique to your particular course that is a test student. That is a student that you could effectively log in as. In fact, right this moment, I'm logged into this test student account which means that I could participate. Now, if my grades would not show up in the gradebook. They would not affect the weighting, the course weighting, and all of that. But I could effectively participate as a test student. So you see up here it shows that I'm logged in as a test student. Now, if I click the Reset Student button, basically that would clear out everything that I have done so far as the student named test student. I'm actually going to take that bold step. I want to show you what that does. It does a variety of things, so suddenly test student has been reset, which means that it's as if that student has entered my class and has not done anything to date. Not a thing. And so the interesting thing about test student account and this student view is that it may go hand in hand with and help you to understand what students will see if you have put rules into access. So for example, and I use modules a lot, so if I look at modules I will see week zero introduction, how to prepare for this online course, and it shows the things that I am supposed to do. I'm supposed to do all of these various things, and there are deadline due dates and so on. So if I read the introductory document, it allows me to pull that up and read that document and so forth. So I could open that introductory document, I could read it, close it, and Let's suppose I go back to modules. Now I have I have actually now viewed the page. I, the student, can see what I have done. I can also see what I have not done. The instructor has programmed this particular module so that in order for me to be completed with this particular module, the instructor, that would be me, has programmed all of these requirements in order for me, the student, to be done with week zero, I have to do these things. I've had to view this page, the syllabus, I had to view the class schedule, I had to view all of these documents. And so I viewed the one, but I'd have to view all of them in order for me to be done with that module. Now look what happens with the next module. The instructor has set a prerequisite, the completion of week zero. And so if week zero, the module, requires that I have to do all of these things before this module is done, then the student cannot even see it. It's locked. The student cannot even gain access to week one. Do not pass go. 
do not collect $200. And so in this case, every single module is unavailable to them because they cannot, this is not a buffet. An online class is not a correspondence course they can just bounce around in. The instructor can program a whole set of expectations as far as what must be done. If we say you have to read the syllabus, then they have to read the syllabus. They at least have to come up and look at this page. All right. So having done that, then I open this page that said read syllabus. Notice at least they looked at this particular item they, and so on. I'll just quickly do that. I'll pull this up and then I'll go back to module. I just want you to see how this will uh, essentially now hopefully when the student gets to this page they'd actually be clicking here and viewing the document itself but just trying to show you how this works so now I've got two more I'll do really fast read document regarding it describing proctored final exam and one more if I were the student I would be getting the idea that the instructor was pretty serious about me, the student, reading these things. And of course the instructor is doing all this to hold their hand, guide them through a process. And now if the student has really done that in due diligence, then week zero they have done all of these things as required. Suddenly week one is no longer locked to them because they took care of the prerequisite week zero. And now they can go ahead and read the review the class schedule, they can study the lecture document, they can look at the optional lecture capture videos and and so on and so on. Um, normally they would take a quiz and that's not visible because the quiz was only available for three days and there was a start and a closing date and once that comes and goes it's no longer available to them and so on. So all of these things are under the control of the instructor, of, all right, of course. And so here within modules, I can then, for example, in week 11, I can look at programming the, um, the various, let's see, I can edit and control aspects such as the prerequisite before they can view it, they have to look at the module for week 10. So week 11, is predicated on this prerequisite. And then you can say that this module 11 is complete when, and I could add additional requirements, but you can specify what conditions you will consider this module as having been completed. All of this affects, as you can see, what the students will actually be able to see. And using the test student account in the so-called student view, allows you, the instructor, to get a pretty good feel, in fact an excellent view, uh, feel, excellent view of what the student has access to and what they will see. So in conclusion, that I think covers the outcome of the student view within Canvas.